Hey guys, Hardcore here. We're playing The Culling for the PC. This game recently just came out on Steam. If I had to compare it to anything, it would be more like H1Z1, King of the Hill style. It's a one life only PvP game, down to the core. Cost uh, $13 on sale right now. I believe the regular price is 20 I want to say it's 20 or it's 15 In either way, it's not a very pricey game. There's only one map currently in, but there's plenty to do in the game. And it has a lot of replay value. I have about three hours logged already in one sitting. And now that I kind of got a, a feel for the game, I feel like I can talk about it. I feel like I can make some gameplay. I should point out that I only won one match. Because it's literally the last man standing or last team standing if you play the team version. The graphics in the game are not the most tremendously beautiful. Although I did lower all my graphics down so I could get more frame rate. In the menu you get about, I get about 60 while recording. Recording drops me about anywhere from 20 to 30 frames. In game, I get about 30 or so frames, depending, which is pretty much what I'm dealing with in Daisy. So I'm pretty used to it because my computer can't handle that game. Now, in the game itself, you have perks. So, for example, I use Blood Bath. So when you bleed any enemies, they'll they're gonna be losing a lot more health over duration of time. So you can customize your character however you see fit. So you can use that. You can use, for example, 50% um, damage from all craft weapons. Or Golden Arm, which increases your throwing, if you want to be a throwing player, which not a lot of people do, I noticed. But this is what I've been using for my perks. You use airdrops, which there's in-game currency that you earn in the match, and when you leave the match, it resets. So that way you can't just start You can't, like, play a match, bank your points, start another match, and then pop all the points. So, you can see over here, they cost... Um, what they cost price wise, they have like 115, 100, 185, and you see tier 3 saber, magnum, these are obviously stronger weapons. Uh, you only start with 3, and then if you surprise me every time you open the box successful, you unlock it. And after match, depending on your performance, you can unlock stuff to wear, give you cosmetic look, and there's no female character in the game yet, not that that's really a big thing. But that's something fun that you could do if you like to collect gear. You can get some nice looking stuff. I've seen some pretty crazy looking people in the game in that regard. Alright, so you have the practice mode, which is literally you against bots. They Honestly, the tutorial didn't really teach me anything. Like, they just it was basically a bot game. You walked in, I'm walking around like, what the hell's going on? You can do free for all, which is self explanatory, and teams, which is squads of two. There is no voice communication in the game. That's the biggest gripe I have because it feels like kind of lonely and not many people use the type chat. Mostly because there's only team and there's dead chat. You can't interact with people other than killing them. On the plus side, you know the people complain about DayZ, whining, oh god, everybody's just PvP, blah blah blah. You know what I mean? Like, people expect everybody to survive and help each other and all that. This one's just solely just get in there and kill. So you can open up boxes to get your loot, you can craft stuff depending how you want to do it, you can craft traps, for example, you can make caltrops, if you take caltrops and you craft them with a stick, you can make a blow dart gun, which is extremely effective. So there's different ways you can play, and the map is pretty large for, uh, for one level, but what they do is, in order to keep people from camping out on the outskirts and ambushing people and just dragging a match out, because there's a time limit, at a certain point, the match will have a poisonous gas that emits around the entire outside and closes into the center, where it's essentially an arena and everybody fights who's left alive to the death. So a common strategy that I've been using is pretty much hiding on the outskirts, gearing up, killing and, rambush and ambushing excuse me, random players, and you go on from there. Open the box, the box busts open, and you gotta get your ass moving. So, what I normally do is I go and I look for gear. In terms of I find a building and I start looting. And the spawn's always random. I happen to know that I'm by the airport. Which is a pretty big loot cache, but a big target for other players. So at the start of the game like this, obviously, first thing's a weapon. Again, I got my weapon. I got body armor. You can craft that, but it's really rare. That's I don't need that. I already have body armor, but you can sell stuff that you don't need. So, with the in-game currency, 
You can get it from killing people, staying alive, or selling stuff. So in this case, I already have body armor. I can't use it. But I can turn around and sell it for points. And 20 is a hell of a lot. Oh yeah, this clown thinking he's going to sneak on me. So you can block. You can shove. But a lot of the beginning players don't know about that. They see a guy in the outskirts out there. And he's coming to jack my kill. You killed someone with a melee weapon. I don't think so, you little leech. Tell about a guy's gear, he, he's no newbie. But he's making a lot of mistakes. Oh, and I just made a big one right there. I'll let him go. Because I could open up this. Now we have the game on my side. Fortunately, I just lost sight of him. There he is. That's some. There we go. Sorry, buddy. Advantage me. That bleed buff I got, baby. Fucking punk trying to steal my shit before. And that is essentially the PvP of it. Now you can tell, um, my health is pretty bad for starting 115. Cause he, uh, he put some good hits on me, but I won. So what you could do is you could go to the med machines and trade one point of uh, currency for one health, which is pretty bad. Or you could craft by chopping trees with anything. You can punch them if you feel Minecrafty. And you see I got one branch. I need one more. It costs five, but this is going to heal me for a lot more. And much better. Alright, let's roll to the next place. So you can see the the definite difference in gear. Because when we, I had the hammer, I wasn't doing crap for damage. As soon as I got that knife, that was it. Because it was a tier 3. So there's a big advantage getting those early kills and being able to pop the box. The minute that dude retreated, he already sealed his fate. If he just stayed on me, kept the pressure... He actually could have won that, because that dude, again, was no no newbie. You could tell just by the way he was dressed. And for a game that came out a day ago, he looked pretty damn uh, scary looking. And he knew how to shove, he knew how to block. I see a lot of players like that guy who um, I killed first, who wasn't blocking, wasn't shoving. He wasn't dancing, if you will. A contestant just killed somebody else. So, that's how that dude lost. That guy could have won it, though. If he played it better, because I only have three hours experience, so I don't know my ass from my elbow. Let's see a tank down there. You can craft poison items out of it, or you can activate it, and it emits a very large gas cloud. And it is excellent because you put those near a Damn, lot of buildings, so you have people camping. Beard. You can use it to get them the hell out. Good, nobody opened up this chest. Now, now you see I have two knives that both are exactly the same. So if you're under this situation, or if you kill people and you don't need the crap, you can just turn around these blue machines and sell it back for money. Next up is Blue Pinata. Get to the center arena and hit one of the 
And they have random events like that, but I'll be honest with you, I never went to Jesse 1. Like, there's no way I'm gonna go to the middle of the arena that's early in the map. Suicide. On this machine. Let's see how it costs one to heal. Actually, it's healing more than just one point. Fantastic. That, and I'm gonna show you guys how big this gas cloud is. So let's say a guy's hypothetically hiding that little house there. If there was somebody in there, they would be regretting it in a few seconds. Another contestant just got cut into little pieces with a blade. And this this cloud is huge when it finishes. So let's make sure I get extra far away. Oh, look, here's another one. You can keep just setting these off and being a dick. They don't cause anything to settle up. That's really cool. The scoreboard in the sky, you can see everybody's alive and dead. set that other one off and makes a nice little trap. For good measure, I can set this one off. That red box you see right here, they can only be opened with explosives, but they have the best loot in the game. Usually firearms. How you get explosives? Shit if I know, man. I only found one grenade once. Well, I didn't see anything saying I killed that guy. But I'm sure I definitely scared the shit out of him sending that gas off. Yeah, some area looted here. That's a shame. Are you a male? Are you a female? If I was a real doctor, I wouldn't be asking these questions. Alright, so. Still a good amount of us left alive. Alright, well, I'm thinking this is going to be one of those matches now where it's, yeah. I'm too far set back gear-wise. Normally I'm well armed at this point. So what I'm going to have to do is craft. Give me that. Give me that. There we go. Right, I need rocks now so I can make cow traps. And then I can make my blow dark gun. Right. I don't actually have the drop button set. Alright, so boom. Now, these are awesome. And a lot of players don't use them. Because these make people sick. Especially when you put the poison buff on them. You've got one. And peep it. Come on, buddy. For me, buddy. Yes, that is how you handle a knife. Perfect. Now need his backpack. You can't equip multiple backpacks, so let's go pawn it. Someone just killed somebody else with a spear. And his garbage starting axe.
And this is the first time I had a firearm like this. So, awesome. And if you're curious, ammunitions... Oh, shit. I never got one of these either. <clears throat> Anyways, ammunition costs 75 um, currency. All right, let me show you. Uh, 75, which I can actually do. An opponent just killed another so, contestant with a melee weapon. Not a tremendous amount of ammo. But, hey, screw it. I'll take it. We're going to head back and try to get that explosive box, because I never actually got to pop one before, and I am kind of curious. What wonders lay in wait? Oh, I'm actually very anxious about this. Could this be my second match I actually win? It was over here. It was about a gas thing. Oh, there's a gas thing. And let's make some poison gas darts. These things are truly evil. You can see here, requires explosives to open. Got it. Now I don't know how big the explosion is. Let's get back here. All right, so it's a piece of crap. Oh, that's my first time opening it. I'm kind of disappointed because I thought it was only supposed to be guns. Well. Lesson learned, then, that shows you guys that I could have saved that C4 for something a bit more devious. I know you're pissed, but you might like to know right. there are three crates available in the center arena. Only one of the crates has an item in it. Get there first and take your time opening the crates. Savor the moment. Ha, <laughs> take your time opening the crates. Hell no. I love the game with its silly little shit like that. And if you're curious, obviously there's a little sticks you put in the ground. People walk over them, they get poisoned, and it ruins their day. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set them up right over here. Because we're getting towards the end game stage. There we go, put it around the health station. open this bad boy. So I kind of want to still go out and explore and do stuff out there, but I know the end game stage is about to start. You can hear people fighting in the arena. I see them. Oh, fuck. I should have took that shot. Come on, buddy. Sit still. Yep, there it is. So, ten minutes. The map shuts. Someone just killed another contestant with an arrow! And that's that. Patience does pay off. And perfect, man. I got pink hair for being the little camping bitch I am. That is the culling, guys. And that's my second victory. So thank you guys for watching. Please rate the video, subscribe if you want to see a video similar to this one. And leave a comment below what you think about the game. And you can call me a little camping bitch if you want, because I deserve it. Thanks, guys.